when it comes to video content optimization, the same elements as images and the text comments apply. But this is a much more interactive and much more fun way for you to develop trust in your uh, persona, in your brand, and actually show your character. Here you have the option to communicate with others, and actually with networks such as YouTube and others giving you some really powerful editing facilities, you are able to create some things or some storylines that actually don't necessarily require a high budget to, to create this particular video. So some basic things that you need to bear in mind when you're creating video. Obviously, if you're using your mobile phone, the cameras in these mobile phones are quite powerful. So you're able to create a high definition uh, kind of quality of video that most people will be happy to watch on YouTube. So the content is really important. So there are three things that you need to bear in mind with video recording. One is that the video is stable. So if you're using a mobile phone, so it's really important to mount this mobile phone so that it's actually not moving, so that you have no shake, so that somebody who is watching it isn't getting dizzy when they're watching it. So a tripod or a very simple a way where you can prop the phone at an angle that actually works would be a very useful solution there. If you don't have that option to do either a tripod or a, a mounting it somewhere, try and lean it towards the wall or some object that is actually not movable and actually where you have a still image that you're capturing. The second important point for video creation is lighting. Obviously, as you can see, we're currently in the studio where there's quite a lot of lights uh, coming at me. And that obviously has the benefits that you don't see a shadow and theoretically you can see pretty much everything that I do here. If you do have filming in a dark room or at night, this presents a number of problems. So you, unless you have a very high quality camera that is able to capture at night, most cameras are not really great for evening and indoors filming. Externally, most of them are dealing with on a daily basis with some really good results. The third point that you need to think about is a microphone. An external microphone is far more powerful than something that an ambient microphone will be picking up because it actually picks up a direction of the sound from a particular conversation and you can isolate this sound from all the background noise that is happening. A lot of times you have traffic, you have things that are happening, wind, anything else that is going on that can confuse people when they'll be listening to you. We are pretty good at getting used to things that are sort of uh, with, with our vision. If you think about us on a daily basis, driving cars, we are bombarded with information on a regular basis. We are quite good at filtering that out and actually focusing on what we are doing. But we are not really good at filtering the sound aspect. So if your sound is really bad or if things aren't really sort of uh, helpful for us to hear, that can be quite annoying to the audience and they can switch off. So the same things as we've uh, discussed with the uh, images creation, if you are not a creative, so potentially you could try these things out, but if it's too complicated, there are a number of resources such as Pixabay, where you can go and watch uh, some videos that might be relevant for you and you can reuse those free of charge. Again, YouTube will provide Creative Commons resources as well, as well as a lot of other networks where uh, people have provided some video clips that you can reuse and obviously integrate in anything else that you want to do. From personal branding online, it's a great way for you to show your creativity, to show your passion for certain technology and to get your message across. So it doesn't need to be a standard face-to-face -face talk. Try and think about creative ways, showing a story that you are trying to tell. So therefore, if you have a video, the length of it is quite important. For most ads, video of six seconds, which is on social media, is uh, all that is needed. If you really want to show what you're passionate about and talk about it, maybe three to six minutes uh, that you are focusing on. But generally speaking, less is more. So the other thing to bear in mind when you're creating video, try and create a storyline so that you are trying to map out how this video is going to develop. And this storyline will hopefully give you some structure to what it is that you're trying to say. So, 
video is one of the best resources when it comes to virality and somebody who will be interested in you will get the most impression of you or the things that you are standing for when they actually see you performing on video but it's obviously not for everyone as well but if you want to try it out as part of this personal branding online course it would be a great time to actually see whether video is something that you want to play with